So let's go to a problem. We need as a skill to understand how to calculate arc length. So there are two ways or two methods. I'm sure there was more than two methods, but the two primary methods at this level is to um, either use degrees or use radian measure. So first of all, I'm going to tell you that we're going to use degrees because I already have this drawing with the information in degrees and a radius of two centimeters. So um, we're going to use this guy first. And then I'm going to convert it, and we're going to use radians next, and we'll uh, develop the equation for the um, arc length of a circle in radians. So for degrees, we set up a, propor a proportion. And so we're going to have uh, the arc length, which is some distance around part of the circle, this part of the circle. And we're going to set up a proportion, a ratio on left side equal to a ratio on the right side, which is called a proportion. We're going to set part of that length to as a ratio over the whole of the length, which would be the circumference. And circumference, as previously mentioned, is 2 pi r. So now 160 is partway angularly around the circle. And we would refer to the central angle. And all the way around the circle is 360 degrees. So part over whole equals part over whole. And so that's a proportion. So this is the thing we're trying to, de trying to de determine. So arc length over 2 pi times 2 centimeters is equal to 160 over 360. And so that becomes, and I got a whole bunch of leftover stuff hanging out here from previously. Um, uh, this becomes A over 4 pi. And that equals 16 over 36, which is 8 over, what's that going to be, 18, which is 4 over 9. And then I'm going to multiply both sides by 4 pi. And so I'm going to get A equals 4 times 4 pi over 9, which is 8 pi over 9 centimeters. More than likely, um, the software is going to want you to divide that out and get a decimal. And I just don't have a calculator on me. And I'm not going to divide 8 by 9 in my head. And I'll multiply it by an irrational number, pi. So how do we do this in radians? Well, first, the problem that you would be given is not necessarily to convert this 160 degrees into radians, but we might as well practice that, okay? So uh, 160 degrees from degrees to radians. And so 160 degrees, I want radians in the numerator when I'm done, so I'm going to multiply it times a ratio of pi radians divided by 180 degrees. My degrees units uh, equal 1, so they're out. And I get, uh, I can actually divide both sides by, divide the numerator and divide the denominator by 10, simplify that 16 over 18. So I'm going to get 16 pi over 18, which further simplifies to be 8 pi over 9. And there's my angle in radians. Okay? So now, how do I find the arc length in radians? Let's first just put the formula up there. We had uh, arc length, or the length of an arc. That's poorly written, but you know what I mean, because I just wrote it above. Divided by the uh, circumference of the circle is equal to the central angle in degrees divided by all the way around the circle in degrees. And so what we want to do is to convert this equation, we're going to first multiply both sides by 2 pi r, so we're, quote, solving for arc length. So arc length is equal to theta in degrees over 360 degrees, which is a ratio, and really that ratio has no units, technically. 2 pi r is my complete distance around the outer portion of the circle, the circumference. And so really I'm taking this all the way around and multiplying times some fractional value of how far I'm going around, represented by the central angle. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use the conversion ratio, that pi over 180, or 180 over pi. And we're going to use it to convert this 360 into radians. OK? So we're going to do this. We're going to take theta, and we're going to take 360. But we're going to multiply 360 by 100, uh, excuse me, pi over 180. And that 2 pi r is still out there. And so what that ends up giving us is 
theta over 360 pi over 180 2 pi r, which then, once I do this division, I get 2 pi, so I get theta over 2 pi, 2 pi r, and these two 2 pi's equal 1, so I get theta, and that's now in radians, times the radius of the circle. And of course, again, this is in radians. So if I'm going to do that same problem, let's we converted 160, I believe, to uh, radians. So 160 degrees is 8 pi over 9 radians. So now, if I want to figure out the arc length, um, I just take 8 pi over 9 radians, multiply it times the radius of the circle, 2 centimeters, and I get 16 pi over 9 centimeters as my arc length. And if we go back and check our previous answer, we got... I'm sorry, this was a mistake. Doofus. Mistake. What's 4 times 4? 16. Okay, I'll try to put a notation as we go. So that was 16, and so we get the same answer here when we use the radians. And a lot of folks would point to the idea that it's a much simpler idea if I'm using radians as my angle measure.